Hey guys, Justin Schwartz here with the Schwartz team. Going to go ahead and give you our market update for March 2020. And we're going to be doing month to month stats and year to year dates. So comparing, giving you the percentages and breakdown of the numbers here. So let's go ahead and get started. New listings, we were up 8% for the month of March at 690 new listings. And year to date, we were up 7.4% with 1,509 new listings. Pending sales, we were up 9.6%. We had 569 closings in the month of March. And year to date, we had 17.4 with 1,379 listings closed. Pending, sorry. Closed sales, we were up 16.2% from last year at this time for the month of March. We had 438 closed sales. And year to date, that would have been up 15.2% with 1,089 listings there. So that's an impressive number that we were up that much. But again, we were probably still trickling out of that big snowstorm, which now we can relate to again as we get a little bit of that snow. But I think things look pretty good in comparison as far as weather at this time getting ready to close. All right, average days on market, not a big change here. But right now we are at 69 days on the market. Last year at this time in March, we were at 68. So nothing significant. Um, year to year comparison, we are at 72 days on the market. And last year, year to year at this time, we were at 69. Um, average sales price, we were up 12.9% month to month here. So for last year at this time, we were up 12.9%. And that average sales price right there is at $238,826. Um, year to date, we are up 12.9%. And that number for year to date would be $235,569. So average sales price right now, we're basically hovering right around that $239. And uh, that's, that's a pretty good increase from a year to date here. Percentage of original price, so what did we receive? If we listed at 100, did we get 100% or did we net below, above or below? The percentage was 96.7% for the month of March. So we were at 96.7% for uh, sales price to list. All right, next let's go into inventory of homes for sale. So this is the total of how many do we have on the market right now. And uh, we are down 13%. Last year at this time, we had 1,263 listings for sale. And this time we have 1,099 listings. So right back to low inventory has ultimately been our issue. And uh, it's not getting any better as far as inventory is going here. And then uh, finishing up on month supply. We are down 20% for month supply. We basically got two months supply so compared to last time around this year, we've got about 20% less inventory is kind of what it's saying at the, at the rate of consumption that it's at. So looking at the numbers here, the numbers were looking pretty good approaching all this. Now we're getting into the thick of it. These next set of numbers are really gonna to start to show us what kind of effects have we had with coronavirus and uh, how are we gonna be moving forward. We're starting to hear little rumors here and there about banks changing, credit scores need to be higher, down payments possibly more. Those are going to be some of the challenges that we're going to start seeing in the next 30, 45 days. I think those will be rolled out and other banks will start to follow. So I do feel like that will show, that will slow parts of our sectors here. I mean, if you had a lower credit score or you were tight on your money, these are going to be factors that are going to, going to kind of come back in and uh, maybe make you wait a little bit, but we will see. Um, overall, the numbers still look pretty solid here for March, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they keep coming in. We're looking at the day-to-day, -day and it's actually, uh, we're doing pretty good as far as uh, nationwide goes. Midwest has been looking pretty solid as far as the market goes. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys found some of those stats interesting. And if you have any other questions about your house or just the market in general, you guys know how to get a hold of us. Have a good one.